What's up everybody, Vaughn here with Unlimited Freedom and I want to uh, go ahead and do a little bit of an update on Robinhood. This is going to be a quick one. Uh, Robinhood is the broker that I use to do my uh, stock, stock investments, right? So I get stocks on there, ETFs, uh, different kinds of funds that are available on Robinhood. Uh, but before I get into what I want to talk about today, I am not a financial advisor, okay? This is not financial advice and I am not your financial advisor. Okay, I'm just a guy on here telling you about my story, sharing my journey with you, and you know, just giving you you guys a quick update on what I'm doing, okay? And the links to everything that I'm doing are in the description. So if you're interested in any of the opportunities that I talk about, or in any of the platforms that I talk about, the links are all in the description. All you gotta do is open up the description, go to the link, click the link, or copy and paste it into your browser, and then that will take you to the actual site of the platform or broker or opportunity that I'm talking about. So you can actually go directly to the source, you can learn more about the opportunity and it doesn't cost you anything to click a link, okay? So if you are interested, if something in your head is going, you know, ding, 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 this is something I wanna do, then go ahead and click the link. And if not, that's cool too, okay? And there's no pressure here. I'm definitely not telling anybody what to do. I'm just sharing my journey with you, sharing my story with you. now. Having said that, let me jump into what I want to talk about. You guys know that on Robinhood, I like to invest in dividend uh, stocks and dividend ETFs, dividend opportunities, okay? I use the Robinhood broker. If you want to get the Robinhood broker, the link is in my description. The great thing about getting it through my link is you get a free stock and I get a free stock, okay? So it's a win-win situation. You don't even have to spend anything, right? You just, you sign up for the broker, boom, you get a free stock, right? So it's kind of a no-brainer. If you don't have a Robinhood account, uh, the link's in the description, okay? So dividend investing, guys. Basically, here's an easy way to understand what a dividend is. A dividend is a, a monthly or a quarterly payment now, when I talk about dividends, I'm talking monthly payments, not quarterly, because I invest in uh, ETFs and stocks that give monthly dividends, okay? But a dividend is a monthly payment or a quarterly payment just to have your money in the stock or just to have your money in the ETF, just to have it, just to own it. It does has nothing to do with the growth of the stock, of the growth or the depletion or anything like that, no. The only thing it is, is the company is literally paying you money every single month to own the stock, right? So instead of having my money in the bank, which I hate having my money in the bank, I put my money into dividend stocks and other opportunities because they're literally paying me just to have my money sit in there. And with most of these opportunities, the money sitting in there actually grows along with the, you know, with the market. Because a lot of these ETFs that I talk about are tied to the S&P 500 or the NASDAQ. So here's a real easy way to understand S&P 500 and NASDAQ. Basically, look at it like this. The S&P 500 is just the top 500 performing companies throughout every sector of business. Okay? Simple as that. So if you get an SPY ETF, that is... Uh, it's one stock, but it's comprised of 500 different companies that comprise the current S&P 500. So what is the S&P 500? It's just the top 500 performing companies, and it's split out through every sector. What's the NASDAQ? The NASDAQ is tech companies, right? Tech companies. And the NASDAQ is the top 100 tech companies. Okay, so if you get QQQ, that's, a, that's the NASDAQ. Okay, simple as that, guys. So... <clears throat> Back to what I wanted to talk about here. Basically, I want to get into a couple of opportunities that I have not yet invested in, okay? But I'm going to be getting some shares of these opportunities because I really like what's going on with these things. The first one I want to talk about is called JEPI, and that's the ticker, JEPI. And that is JP Morgan Exchange Traded Fund Trust Premium Income ETF. Okay, so what are these things, guys? These are covered call ETFs. You guys have heard me talk about covered call ETFs on this channel before. But basically what a covered call ETF is, is it's an income growth opportunity based on high yield monthly dividends. So 
I know that's a lot, right? That's a, that's a lot of words. Basically, what it means is these are the opportunities that I can buy into that's going to pay me the most every month, right, in the form of a dividend, right? And right now, the JEPI is paying between 7% and 12% monthly dividend, okay? So think about that, guys. We're all familiar with the 3% a week opportunity, right? We're all familiar with, you know, 12% a month right and we know based on the compounding calculator that with that type of investment that type of return and you compound it meaning you reinvest your return that can grow pretty big because compounding grows over time and the more you have the more it grows and it's like an exponential growth to create really long-term wealth in a relatively short amount of time you know two years three years five years and you can do that with something like a 12 percent uh monthly return right so here's now now jpei is not the highest paying uh covered call etf it's not the highest paying dividend but here's why i like it guys it has downside protection and capital appreciation so what does that mean that means that it's insured, so in case the market goes down, right, you're not going to be losing all of that initial investment that you put into it with the market, okay? It's protected, and that means capital appreciation. That means over time, your initial capital will appreciate, not to mention the high-yield dividends that they're paying to you every month, right? So big one there I'm, I'm really excited about this guys but i want to make sure that i'm practicing what i preach and what i preach is guys i preach never invest anything that you're not prepared and okay to lose so while i would like to jump in every single day and just buy a ton of stuff i don't do it because i manage my finances and i practice risk management now i'm going to be getting into these etfs jp uh, jepi and nusi Hopefully, uh, within about 15 days at the end of the month, I want to see what my finances look like because I want to get into these. I also want to get into some more of the crypto opportunities that I'm talking about, buy some more packages, buy some more portfolios, things of that nature. So basically, we're compounding, we're compounding the growth. Okay, so we're creating growth, we're compounding growth, and what that boils down to is passive income. Passive income is where you don't work for your money, your money works for you. That's how the rich do it, right? That is the mindset that I had to have. That was the shift and the change that I had to have years ago to understand that, hey, I need to quit working for my money and I got to start making my money work for me. And that's what passive income is all about. So the second one, NUSI. The second dividend stock is called uh, Nationwide NASDAQ Risk Managed Income ETF. Okay, this is... Uh, and it's N-U-S-I on the ticker. I'm going to be getting into this one. Also, it's between 5% and uh, 9% is the monthly dividend. So the monthly dividend's a little lower, but you know what? Once again, it's got the downside protection. It's got the capital appreciation. It's a smaller dividend, but it's safer, it's insured, and it's protected against a bear market, Right? Because you don't want your initial investment, right, the money that you initially invested in order to get the dividend, you don't want that to crash if the market crashes, right? So you want to be smart about this. Yes, you want to get the high yield dividend, but also at the same time, you don't want your ship to sink. You know, if the, if, you know, if the wave hits and the market's crashing, you don't want to go down with the ship. Okay, so you want to be smart when you're getting into these type of cover call ETF opportunities. That's my update on Robinhood today. The links to everything are in the description. As always, guys, take care, and we'll see you on the next video.